Hello and welcome Aquarius. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Aquarians, what we do here? We will look at the overall energy for the months of Aquar for the month of September for the sign of Aquarius. Before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, healing that needs to happen, that sort of thing. Before we then lastly look at opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023. Aquarians, are you ready? Okay, let's see what we got. Wow, okay. I obviously asked the guides to give me all the information I need for the months ahead, for the different topics. Sometimes it's quite difficult to actually separate all this because life uh, is a flow of energy. In any case, let's look at this. When it comes to the overall energy, what the guides are saying to you is, it is true, you are on a journey, life is a journey. So in your case, it's not about the destination, but the journey itself. What you're being asked is to make sure that your day-to-day -day life is rewarding. This is where changes ought to happen. Are you in a situation that is stressful on a daily basis and then you need some time out from this just to recover? If that is the case, get the hell out of Dodge. It's just what I'm getting here is, is, is that in order for you to progress, um, you should not be anywhere where you are only there because, I don't know, someone pays you or you agree to do a certain thing. None of this works for you. In September, you are asked to understand that life on a daily basis, yes, there will always be some challenges because this planet is a school and we're only here to learn. But your job is to understand in September 2023, Aquarians, to not spend time and to not stay where you feel this is never ending stress and get out of there ASAP for your own sake. Okay, that was the overall energy. Now we're looking at your emotional core, whether there's love coming in or, 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 or healing that needs to happen. Now the good thing is that you have the aspect of trine, which means whoever you are with, whoever you're going to meet, whatever you're manifesting in love is in the trine aspect at this point in time, which means the energy of love around you is high and manifesting someone that fits is also super high. But, you were, you were obviously expecting a but. Here it is. <laughs> there, is a, there is a symbiosis that needs to happen. It is one thing to talk to someone you're with about making changes and then waiting for these changes to make sense, if that makes sense. The symbiosis is that the person, the person you manifest or the person that you're with, and it sounds a bit egotistical, but it's not meant that way. What the guides are saying is the more you find a person that has your core values, right, the better this is. The downside is that you sometimes think it's just another me. <laughs> but that's not how this feels at all. So if you have a person that is very much like you, that doesn't mean you become a narcissist and love only yourself. It just shows you that what, what, what doesn't work for you at this point in time is to be with someone who's completely oddballish, even though this can be super exciting. You have to be with someone at this point in time or manifest someone at this point in time that really gets you for who you are without you having to change. That's a symbiosis, right? So we, we become one, we sort of mingle here and merge. And the number for this on this card is 52. Five and two is seven, right? Now five is the number of communication, five is the number of change, two is the number of, of, of unity and, and couples, right? So there is there are changes that need to be made to make the unity work, right? You as a couple work, but five and two is seven. Seven is the highest number of protection and healing, which means be clear on what you want and be clear on what you do not want. Um, and things will be much, uh, will be going forward much easier. All right. So opportunities, Aquarians, I can't talk. Opportunities have the number nine. Nine is the number of completion, the end of a cycle. 
it does not feel at this point in time that it makes a lot of sense to just change one job to the next. Remember, they were just saying in the overall energy here not to hang about where you're not wanted. I get that. But what I also get is now is, does it make sense to do the same bloody job just in a different company? It doesn't feel that this works for you if you just continue with what it is you have always done just because it is easy and also its downside is that you worked hard for this right so i get that and the point the guides are making is they want you to understand in order for you to get shown or be shown opportunities that really make a difference you have to expand your horizons look at something new that you could be doing maybe there's something extra i can add to this right and it's not so much that you do something extra to be um to be the head honcho somewhere you know and and and, and nobody's as good as you this is not an ego thing here but what the guides are asking you to really do is to expand your horizon and have a look you know what is it i always wanted to do and can i then use this to sustain me and then therefore make this an opportunity to create a life you really want. Now, all of this comes under the banner of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the archer and therefore is uh, depicted as someone with a bow and arrow. So in order to make this work, you have to decide how far you shoot the arrow. So when it comes to expansion and, and, and expanding, you have to put the work in. You need to be proactive here, right? At the same time, Sagittarius the archer is linked to the wounded healer, right? And so what you are being asked is to also understand that should you feel, which again goes back to the over energy, if you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm doing my best here and um, I'm still stressed most of the time and I'm not really well, you're already wounded, right? And then you have to ask yourself, why am I allowing people to wound me? And in the expanding energy when it comes to opportunities, that's another really uh, important aspect to realize. There should be no, and there is, no way that you can be happy when other people make you feel you're less, right? So in my energy here, it goes into being either self-employed or really high up so that you can call the shots um, because you're much better as a counselor type energy than just following someone's orders, if that makes sense, right? Okie dokie, Aquarians, that's all we got. This was your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Like I said, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. If it does, please like, subscribe and share. Um, that's all we got time for. Before I let you go, always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day. The moon is the ruler of the night. But you are the ruler of your own destiny. I see you very soon. Bye-bye.